Okay, let's try to do this problem. So this is a multi-part problem. Uh, let's read the question. So if you like, you can pause the video at this time and then read the question. Uh, you drive a truck along a straight road for 8.4 kilometers at 75 kilometers per hour. So that's the first segment of the motion. At which point it runs out of gasoline and stops. Over the next 30 minutes, you walk another 2.0 kilometers farther along the road to a gasoline station. That's the second part of the motion. So you can see for the first part of the motion, they give us the average velocity. So this is the average velocity for the first segment. For the second segment, it gives you the time as well as the the displacement travel in that particular direction. So the first question is asking, determine your displacement from the start of the drive to your arrival at the station. So find the total displacement. That's what it means. Second one, determine the time elapsed from the start of the drive to your arrival at the station. So that means find the total elapsed time for the entire motion. Part C, what is your average velocity for the start of the drive from the start of the drive to your arrival at the station. So that means for the entire motion, find the average velocity. Now, what is this 75? That is for the first part of the motion, not for the entire motion. Finally, sketch the position versus time graph for the entire motion. So that means X versus time graph, in other words. So first, let's let's try to sketch what's going on here. So I'm going to use our number line because this is an example for straight line motion, one dimensional motion. So let me call this the direction of motion for the truck. And, and when you walk, this is the direction that you move. Okay, measured in meters. And let's say this is our start point origin. I'm going to consider the start point as origin. Okay. And then you move for 8.4 kilometers, let's say in the positive direction. Okay. And then we know the average velocity in that, for that particular motion, it says it's 75 kilometers per hour. After that, after this 8.4 kilometers, the, car, the truck stops because it doesn't have any gas. And then you move, then you walk farther away in the same direction until you, uh, you know, get into a gas station. So then here you, you are going to move 2.0 kilometers. As a result, now your new position is going to be 10.4 kilometers. Do you see that? So this is obtained simply by adding 2 kilometers to the original position for the, for the final position of stage 1, uh, that is 8.4 kilometers. Okay. So this is your start point. I can say this is my start point and this is the final point or final position. So let me use a different color to explain this to show, uh, you know, part one of motion where you drive the truck and then this part is part two of the motion. Part two of motion. Now in part two, you can see we don't know uh, the uh, average velocity in that region. So maybe something that's that's we need to figure out along the way when we solve this problem. So I'll say that we don't know this. We average 
for part two we don't know that okay uh, the the time here we know the time i'll call it like uh, delta t because it's a time duration delta t2 is 0.5 hours i'll call it like that because 30 minutes is half an hour so i'll call that and here uh, again we don't know that information delta t1 we don't know that information okay so now part a simply the total displacement or the overall displacement total display they mean the same thing total displacement for the entire motion delta x is equal to x final minus x initial so that's how we define it now what is x final you can see x final is 10.4 kilometers and i need to put the plus sign so remember there's a plus sign over here minus x initial i defined it to be zero i selected our reference point as our starting point zero kilometers sorry this should be uh, i made a mistake it should be 10.4 plus 10.4 kilometers minus zero kilometers which is going to give you the answer as plus 10.4 kilometers so that's the answer for part a in part b we need to calculate the total time for the entire motion the total time for the entire motion so let me call that delta t total is equal to the time for the part one of the motion which i call delta t1 and the time for the part two of the motion delta t2 part one is where you drive the truck part two of the motion is where you walk to the gasoline station now part uh, time for part two is given it's half an hour 0.5 hours but the time for part one is not given but if you recall how we define the average uh, velocity v average is defined as the displacement for that part divided by the time for that part okay so from there we can solve for the time so if you do that we can write this as delta x1 over the average velocity for part 1 and then delta t delta t2 is given to us it says 30 minutes which is 0.5 hours now uh, on a side note remember that in so sometimes you might see v average denoted by this symbol that's also another representation for the average velocity so remember this this is another way of denoting average velocity we call it sometimes v bar okay so whenever you see that bar on top of a uh, 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 physical quantity it means the average value okay so now let's try to calculate this delta x1 delta x1 is plus 8.4 the displacement made uh, during the first part of motion divided by that uh, the average velocity in that part which is 75 kilometers per hour and then we have 0.5 hours and this part is going to be if you calculate this you are going to get 0.12 hours and then 0.5 hours so this will be 0.62 hours so that would be the answer 
uh, for part B. Now I'm going to keep uh, the units in kilometers and hours. Okay, it, it, they don't specify us to uh, turn it to SI units. So in this case, I'm just going to keep them in kilometers and hours. But if you want, you can express these things always in meters and seconds. You just need to use the right conversion factor. So just keep that in mind. You can convert this into SI units. But since the initial question was given in kilometers per hour, in minutes, in hours like that, I'm going to retain that same unit. Now part C of the problem is asking for the average velocity for the entire motion. Because the average velocity for part 1 was given, uh, there was no average velocity for the part 2 given. But here we want to find the average velocity for both uh, motions, both stages of motion uh, in this problem. So how do we find this? So I'll call it V average total is equal to the definition of average velocity is the total displacement divided by the elapsed time. So here I'm going to write down delta x total divided by the total elapsed time. So that means the time for both motions the driving part as well as for the walking part. The, the total displacement, we figured it out in part A, and that was plus 10.4 kilometers. Divide this by the total elapsed time, which we figured out in part B, and that's 0.62 hours. And then when you simplify this, you are going to get 16.8 kilometers per hour. So as I told you, I'm just going to retain the same units that was expressed in the original problem. So, so the answer here would be there should be, a, I mean, if there's no plus sign, you know that it's a positive value, but just to be on the safe side, I'll just put a plus. So you know that it's moving in that same direction towards the right hand side. So we have specified the size of this physical quantity as well as its direction because remember average velocity is a vector quantity. So that's the answer for part C. Now part D, the final part, is we need to plot the x versus time graph for this entire motion. So let me uh, uh, let me draw the coordinates first. So this is my let's say uh, the position axis and then this is my time axis like that and I'll uh, define this as my x coordinate and the units here that's the origin, is going to be kilometers, okay? And the time is going to be hours, okay? So for the first part, it's the driving part. The, the, the vehicle travels 8.4 kilometers towards the right or in the positive direction, and it takes... 0.12 hours. So I'm going to I'm I'm not drawing, going to draw for a scale, but uh, uh, I'm eyeballing and I'm saying that okay, this would be that 0.12 hour mark, and at that point, the distance the displacement is somewhere over here at plus. 8.4 kilometers okay 
So then I'm going to connect those two points like this. So that point and the origin like that. Okay. So that's the first part of the motion where I have this, uh, the driving part like that. And then the second part, uh, there's going to be another displacement of uh, two kilometers. So that means up to somewhere here, you move two kilometers and then your then position would be 10.4 kilometers and you are traveling uh, for another 30 minutes. That means 0.5 hours. So that would be somewhere like over here. So I need to add 0.5 hours to 0.12 hours. So then the total time is expressed by this point, which is going to be 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.62, sorry, 0.62 hours. And then the new position in terms of the uh, x value would be 10.4. So this is that point. And then I'm going to use a different color for that part just to show you that it consists of the entire motion consists of two uh, parts. like that. So it should be uh, a straight line. So let me draw that uh, using a straight line marker like that. Okay. So this part gives me the uh, walking part. And then this part gives me the driving part. And then you can see the slope here, right? Rise, overrun. The slope gives what? The average uh, velocity in this segment. So the average velocity was uh, 75 kilometers per hour. And the average velocity for the walking part, we can calculate that even though that's not being asked, uh, we can calculate that. So average i'll just do this calculation over here average velocity for part two is the displacement for that part which is just two kilometers plus two kilometers divided by uh, the time which is half an hour or 0.5 hours so then the answer would be plus 4.0 kilometers per hour. So then this would be 4.0 kilometers per hour. Now, if you like, you can put the plus sign because uh, it's like motion in the positive direction. But that's how you analyze this problem. So this is the final part, the position versus time graph for the entire motion, part one of the motion, the driving part, and part two of the motion, walking part.